The YPJ is a fighting force made up of Kurdish women. They give up their education, they give up marriage, uh, they give up family to be a part of the YPJ. And their intent has been uh, to fight ISIS and they were very effective in doing that. What was so heartening about these women and their stories is that they were fighting for all the values we fight for. They were fighting for equality. They were fighting to be able to work in whatever field they wanted to. They were fighting for education against an enemy that was fighting to take that away from them. They forged an 80 kilometre front line here just in this northern part of Syria and just in the last four weeks they've recaptured two cities, 400 towns and taken back nearly two and a half thousand square kilometres. They initially were quite interested in having some recognition but on the ground it, became, it was a really difficult process and uh, because these these women were fighting they were on the front line and so for them to be to come off the front line to meet with me and my team you know we were a lower priority than what they were there for so we had to wait for hours and we did have to win their trust and um, and it, it was a very difficult process you're desperate to get that kind of action, to be able to tell their story. But then when you're in it, you're kind of going, what am I doing here? This is kind of crazy. Um, and, uh, and while I was with women who were, you know, they were, we were running everywhere, we, they're telling me where to go, you know, duck down here. And the whole time, you know, they're under fire um, and I'm flinching and they thought that was hysterical, I think. But, um, you know, that's quite confronting when you're not used to it. Why are you shooting at this point? What, what have you seen? Uh, because now the ice is not far away from us and because we now see them and see them cars, we are shooting them. To get into Rojava, we actually entered from Iraq. Through, so we, we flew to Erbil and then we drove up. It's about a four hour drive to get to the border with uh, Syria. And then the crossing from the Iraq side into uh, Syria is actually about a minute. <laughs> it's not very long at all. It's on a barge. Um, but there is quite a process. You, you know, it, showing your, your passports and, and, and making sure all your paperwork's in order and that in itself takes a very, very long time. And then you finally get all your gear onto the barge and then it really is, it's like a minute maximum probably by the time you're across. But I remember the first time I went and there was I think a British crew on the Erbil side of the river and they just said, good luck, take care. Are you sure you want to go? And um, which was, you know, quite chilling as you're <laughs> about to get on the barge and go across um, into a war zone. We're told we must go. It's now too dangerous to stay. The women of the YPJ are very uh, inspiring and very committed. And there's a, a lot of controversy about the YPJ uh, and, and the YPG. In, in some quarters, they're considered terrorists. And, um, and so there is a, a great deal of controversy around them. But in Rojava, in this particular fight, you know, they were, they were committed to, to making a safe place and, and it's their commitment that's inspiring and uh, their enemy was great and great in number and callous and uh, heartless and, and I guess their courage in the face of that was really inspiring to see and some of these are very, very young women and you don't wish this upon anyone, what they gave up to fight for what they believed in and uh, not just what they believed in but for their very lives, um, you know, it was quite awe-inspiring to see.